Well, Russell Wilson meant it when he said, Broncos fans, let's ride. The only thing was he was meaning let's ride all the way down to the bank because Russell Wilson took the Broncos for millions. And what might be the worst trade in NFL history is finally coming to an end and Broncos fans can't be happier. The Broncos are set to cut Russell Wilson and take on $85 million in dead money hit. The most ever. Let's get into this. Yes, the Broncos have officially cut ties with Russell Wilson. It will be official on March 13th, and he is a free agent able to sign with whatever team he wants. This is unprecedented. This has never happened in the NFL with this kind of much money, this much dead cap, meaning $85 million over the next two seasons have to go against the Broncos' salary cap, and the player's not even going to be on the team. And... Odds are he's going to be playing for another team. So, yes, the Broncos are going to be paying Russell Wilson to go play for another team. That's how bad this trade was. That's how bad Russell Wilson has been with the Broncos. That's how bad the Broncos botched this trade. Just to remind everyone what the trade was, this is what the Seahawks got for Russell Wilson and a 2022 fourth-round pick. That's all the Broncos gave up. Or the, no, no, so, sorry. That's all the Seahawks gave up. Seahawks gave up Russell Wilson and their 2022 fourth round pick. Meanwhile, the Seahawks got Noah Fant, put up some good yards and stats for them. Shelby Harris, all right. Drew Locke, who won them some games, right? And then obviously the the the, the meat of it was a first round pick, second round pick, fifth round pick in 2022, and a first and second round pick in 2023 least the Broncos and that doesn't even count the fact that the Broncos turned around and paid Russell Wilson what like 250 million dollars I don't remember what the exact money money of it was but um now the Broncos are sitting here with 85 million in dead cap and nothing they can do about it other than say hey we'd rather release you and not have you take up a roster spot even though we're going to pay you to leave by releasing Russell Wilson the Broncos have uh, we'll take on an NFL record, $85 million in dead money. For context, that's more than the last two dead money records combined. Combined. That's how bad the Broncos wanted to move on from Russell Wilson. Crazy. So more info on this, and I'm going to go through a few things here so you guys have a little bit more detailed. So when your buddies are talking about this, you're a little bit informed, all right? For those asking why the Broncos couldn't just keep Russell Wilson for one more season, then cut him, and which is a good question. It's like, hey, what? Well, why do you? If you're going to pay him eighty-five million, why don't you just why don't you just keep him for one season, have him back up, right, and then and then you know, and then cut him next season? I mean, you might as well. You're going to pay the guy anyways. That's not how that contract worked out. I told you this was a terrible contract. It was a lot of money, and contracts are so confusing. And in the way, like, no contract in the NFL is exactly the same, right? Some are front loaded, some are back loaded, some are like, if you're on the team here, then you're going to get this extra money. This is how much is guaranteed. That's why you always have to look at the guaranteed money. But the dead cap to do this in 2024 is 85 million, split as 35.4 this year, 49.6 next year. Man, that is, imagine that almost $50 million next season is going to go. So the salary cap this season is a little bit above 250 million. So one, one fifth of this year's cap. It's gonna go is, is is equivalent of next year's payment of Russell Wilson. That is insane, and obviously a huge disadvantage to the Broncos um, during during this time. Who want to be you know ha want to have a chance to go make a playoff run, right? It's, you're kind of playing with one arm tied behind your back at that point. The only thing they can do is hope they hit on a on a rookie uh, quarterback that they draft. Uh, but so people are saying, well. Why wouldn't you do that if you know why wouldn't you just wait till next year? Well, next year, that's it's an 86.6 million split, meaning they've got to pay him this year in 2024, and then it's still 86.6 for the next two seasons, 25 and 26. So you're you're still stuck. So instead of being stuck with 30, uh, instead of dragging this thing out to 2026, you might as well just rip the band-aid off and do it now. And that's exactly what they're doing. The Broncos aren't taking a, uh, taking on, let's see, just to clarify, the Broncos aren't taking on $85 million in dead cap this year. Russell Wilson won't be uh, released until uh, March 13th, and here's the reason for that. One, this allows, because of all the NFL rules and when the season starts and all this stuff, this allows Denver to designate him to the post-June 1st release. So there's the new league year starts this month, 
But after June 6th or uh, June 1st, this is where the like, salary cap and stuff gets all, all weird. Uh, once you release a player after June 1st, uh, you can actually spread that money out over two seasons. So if they were to release him today, they, the whole cap hit, the $85 million would have to go to the 2024 season. You wait till after June 1st, then you can um, then you can spread that money out between this season and next season. Now, the other part about it is, is, is it was like, well, then why don't they have to wait till June 1st to release them? There's, they made a rule after they started doing this in the NFL. Long story short, each team gets a handful of players that they can designate post June 1st release, meaning on March 13th, he's technically a release from the team that allows the player to go sign with the team that they want to sign with and get on with their career and allows the organization to move on. Now it's not going to officially count on the books until June 1st. You only get a handful of those you can do. That's why they say that they're going to release them as a post June 1st release. So you, when you see all that, it's just basically allows them to move the money around, but also allows the player, because think about that. If Russell Wilson knew he was going to get cut from the Broncos, but couldn't technically go be a part of another organization, he and he won't be able to until June, that's a good chunk of, of, of time that he could have gotten started with another organization. So it's kind of a win-win for both sides. And then also, so Denver can exercise a $22 million option bonus for 2024, pushing $17.6 million of the cap into 2025. Yes, this allows them, so they, they take it, you're allowed to make it as a bonus. This contract called for a bonus in this case. So when you ever give a bonus and you give cash up front, it gives you more flexibility to move the money around. And that's how they're able to push $17.6 million into next year's uh, cap hit instead of this year. Sometimes people, teams want to do that. Sometimes people want to keep it all on this year. It just depends um, you know, on the salary cap situation for each team in given situations. Russell Wilson's post-June 1st release cap. The Broncos will carry its $35.4 million cap hit into June, then take on dead money at hits of $35.4 million this year and forty nine point six next year. The cash, Russell Wilson is going to get paid. This is what's insane. Russell Wilson is going to still make $85 million from the Broncos to go play for another team. So Russell Wilson will be paid. The Denver will have to pay him $39 million minus whatever he earns elsewhere, which is great for him because wherever he signs and whoever ends up signing him, I'm not, I'm not the biggest Russell Wilson fan, but I mean, if you can get Russell Wilson for $1.2 million on your team, that's a hell of a deal in today's NFL. That's a hell of a deal because at, at worst, he's a backup quarterback for your team and you're only paying your backup quarterback $1.2 million because a good, I mean, a good, Top tier backup quarterback, which sounds weird to say, but you know what I mean? A good backup quarterback in the NFL costs $10 million nowadays. Andy Dalton got $10 million last year to back up Bryce Young, right? If Andy Dalton could get that, imagine what Russell Wilson could get, no matter what you think of the guy. So, yes, Denver will pay Russell Wilson $39 minus $1.21 million for the minimum. And why would a team pay Russell Wilson any more than that? I and mean, why would Russell care? Because he knows no other team's going to pay him over $39 million. So, He'll just sign for the minimum. So then that way, the team that he's joining can be very flexible and go spend that money elsewhere. It's it's a, it's a great deal. The Denver is just, this is crazy that they're paying $39 million for him to go play for another team. And, you know, the betting favorites right now, and I didn't pull this up. I should have pulled this up for the video, but betting favorites are that he's going to end up being a Pittsburgh Steeler. And to end this, we got to look at this tweet. May 2nd, 2022, Colin Cowherd just... With the hottest of hot takes that end up fizzling out and just being a big old ice cube, the Denver Broncos have won the NFL offseason. They should be a Super Bowl favorite for the next several years. Oh, how wrong was Colin? And we love to talk about how wrong Colin was or is. And when he is, we like to point it out. I'm sure he wish he could have this tweet back. Anyways, let me know what you think of this. What do <laughs> you... Can you believe if you're a Broncos fan? How are you feeling? Comment below. Let me know if you're an NFL fan. Do you want Russell Wilson to join your team? Do you, I mean, you're getting him on the cheap. It's, it's the best. Actually, this is the best deal for any other team out there. Hell, I'm not only like the guy, but I wouldn't mind him going to my Patriots. I mean, at 1.2 uh, million, why not? Why not? All right. Maybe he'll, uh, maybe he'll turn into the old Russ and Russell start cooking again. I don't know. All I know is Denver, this is not looking good. This is not looking good for your future. Um, it's going to be a rough two seasons. If you can do anything this next two seasons, that will just be uh, a more of a hat tip to Sean Payton if he is able to make this team a playoff team. 
and um, you know, with with having one hand time behind his back with the salary cap issue, but. It's better to do it now, as we saw, than to do it later. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Smash a like button. Subscribe here to the channel. And I'll talk to you guys later.